Hey, Michelle, you had a question about Pinterest and some recommendations. So I sent you an email, but just in case you still have questions, I thought I would clarify this way. So right now it looks like you have a bunch of boards, or a bunch of pins that are all spread out. And I'd recommend you group them into boards like I did here. Um, so, you know, when I click on Great Special Education Links, this board, and you open that up, it gives you all kinds of different pins, which are what you have in that main section. Um, if what you sent me actually was just a board within your um, your greater Pinterest page, then I would recommend that you kind of um, sort what you have because right now it seems like there's a lot of different things going on in what I saw. So either add a add a smaller board within the the bigger board, or you might want to go back and move some of those into separate boards. And then to get the link so that I can see the right thing, um, up here is where you want to click. I, you copy this URL right here, and then um, when you go in to submit it in Blackboard, if you, here's an email that I'm sending to you, if you um, copy the link here and then highlight it and then go up into this section, you'll see this little chain link. If you click on that, then it gives you a separate window and then you paste your link again into here and then I always say open in a new window and then say insert and that makes that a live link and you actually you know I can put a live link right here when I'll go ahead and do that um, you know, it doesn't have to be a live link over the URL I can do the exact same thing to any words if I highlight them and then click on that little tool it makes that the same link as this so I hope that helps clarify for you how to get the right link to send, and that really is all you need to do. Once you organize your pins and then go ahead and copy and send, submit the link, you don't have to do a separate explanation page. Um, within your pins, you know, there's a little description there, and if this description doesn't say what you want it to, then I would edit that description. Um, but otherwise, and you can do that editing. Whoops, sorry, I did not want to do that. Go back. You can edit this by clicking on that pencil tool, and then it will let you change the description to whatever you want it to say to more specifically address what's going on in your board. All right, if you have any other questions, I'd recommend giving me a call since the deadline is getting close. Um, but you've got a great, great, great start there, and I always love Pinterest boards, so great idea.